Hi guys. In today's video, I'm bringing you four more trash to treasures. Let's get started. Starting out with these wooden carrots that I've been dying to make. I've seen them, they're trending right now, they're super cute. And of course I have scraps laying around, so that's what I'm gonna make. Starting out with just finding my center of a one by four. All you have to do is find the center and then take your ruler and make an angle from your top of a corner to your center point. Today I challenged myself to only use a jigsaw. I stayed outside in the beautiful weather and I wanted to not go back and forth with different saws. So today it's just the jigsaw. You'll repeat this process six times. I made six carrots in total. Make sure your board is clamped to the table and make sure it's clamped to a proper spot, not like mine, where it started to vibrate off the table. So I had to reposition it. So after I made about six carrots, I decided to use my angle grinder to give it some character. I wanted the edges to be a little bit rough and I wanted to put some grooves in it like real carrots. That'll make more sense later. So I attempted to draw, I am not an artist, but I attempted to draw um, one of these little bunnies with a little floppy ear and I think I did a pretty good job, but he's a little wonky, but he's cute. Our next project is a mini bud vase. I'm just making a small little wood stand for it. Um, I found these glass jars at the Dollar Tree and I just traced them around on the top piece of wood that I put in and cut them out so that I would have a spot where they would fit snugly in the top. You can see me doing that right here. As you can see, I am cutting down a dowel. I cut them in one inch and two inch increments and I did the same thing with a two by two to make a very unique 
garland. And again, spending no money on this and using scraps that I have in my pile. So I started out by using Waverly Antique Wax to make some little grooves, um, some darker areas in the grooves that I had made with my angle grinder. I do that to all six of my carrots and I follow it up with some orange paint. I mix this orange and red and yellow together so I don't have an exact um, color of this orange. But what I did was I made them all orange and then wiped some of it off because I didn't want it to be a very, very bright orange. I want to be able to see some of the wood through it. So I made a hole in the top of each of the carrots so that I can make some um, area for the greenery to go in. And I took some boxwood that I had left over and decided to hot glue that in the hole that I made with the drill and made it look like some of the greenery that hangs from the carrot after you pull it out of the ground. I decided to also add a little bit of Spanish moss to it to give it a little bit more um, interesting look and a little bit um, fresh picked look. Now we're painting our little bunny in the color celery. No, I think it's moss from Waverly. It's one of my favorite colors this year. I've been bringing a lot of greens and oranges into some of my decor. And I'm gonna set them aside after um, finished painting to let them dry just a little bit and go on to the next one, um, which is the bud vases. So I give this a quick coat of Waverly chalk paint in white be sure to do all the outside and the inside and you're going to see it from every direction so you want to make sure that everything is painted up. Next, we're gonna start on our beaded garland. I probably should have made these blocks a bit smaller, but overall, I think they are chunky and I like things that are very unique. So, here we go. Starting out with one block, a bead, and then a one piece of dowel. When I was finished loading all of these beads onto my jute twine, I decided to make a tassel at the end and I just go around my hand a few times and tie one extra piece of twine through it and then cut the end off. You'll see at the very end how I make that.
I decided to put a little transfer, an IOD transfer on the bottom of the rabbit. It needed a little bit of something. Um, and I was rubbing like crazy on this and it would not release. So I think maybe next time I'll seal it first. Um, I think the chalk paint sometimes is just too dry. So I decided to rub, rub, rub and it finally came off. I also added a little bit of greenery and some Spanish moss to his ear to give him a little bit more character. And you I used the Dollar Tree little wooden cutoffs as riser feet for this little bunny. What do you think of him being a little riser? I think he's super cute. now for the blood vases so i purchased this epoxy from dollar tree and you know you have to mix them equal parts they stink i don't know if it was a bad batch or do they always stink like this <laughs> anyway i was hoping to make them look like fake water in the bottom of the bud vases so i mixed them up with a plastic spoon in a little plastic container and poured a little bit in in the bottom of each jar you need to work pretty fast with this since it is epoxy and it dries in under five minutes. I actually was, oh, they were almost dry before I even put in my little buds in the vases. And here's how they all turned out. 
I really love all these projects that I did today. I hope that you do too. Thanks for taking the time to watch all my videos. And as always, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Have a great day.